Alright, what's up guys, it's Payne975 and today I'm going to show you how to configure your PlayStation 3 controller for Project 64. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that you watch my first video on how to configure your PS3 controller for Windows 7. And once you watch that, you want to go ahead and open up your DS3 controls. And just type in DS3 in the search bar. And go ahead and plug in your controller. You should, uh, if this is the first time plugging in your controller or if you're plugging in into a different USB port, then you're going to have this pop up over here. So you're just going to wait for it to install itself, and um, you're probably going to need to install it again through the driver manager once it starts install. Once it's done installing through Windows, so just give it a second here. All right, when it's done installing, that should pop up at the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead and close out of that, and um, you should say DualShock 3 6-axis USB right here. And uh, if you want to verify that it's working, you want to go ahead and enable custom LEDs and put like one or four or something, and just enable it. And you see, sh should pop up on your controller. And uh, if you want to verify some more, you want to go ahead and open Game Controller Panel and Properties, and uh, just push some buttons to verify that it's good and it's working and now that we have that working you just go ahead and close out of that and you can close out of the DS3 control panel and you want to go ahead and open up project 64 and um, you want to go to controller plugin but first of all you also want to go to uh, settings and make sure that you have an import input plugin one of these sh shouldn't matter I'm using Jabbles direct input 7 1.6 Go ahead and hit OK, then hit Options, and go back to Configure Controller Plugin. And uh, if you want, if you need help, you want to go ahead and open Google and just Google some uh, images of a PlayStation 3 controller and um, an N64 controller. That way, it's a little bit more easier. Let me move this over here. Uh, You just want to um, go to images and type in like PS3 controller and uh, just drag one out here from Google. That's what I'm doing. N64 controller. Mm -hmm. Here's a good one. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Don't copy it. Um, there we go. Okay, close out of Google. Open both images up. Try to minimize them or compress them or something. That way you can see both images. And you want to go back and open up your controller plugin and your left analog stick. If you just hit this white square right here, and you see that the timer went down and it's already gone, but if you hit the white square, it says it says your analog stick. The left directional button will be just left. Oh, hold on there. <laughs> Make sure you enable the Motion Enjoy Virtual Game Controller first of all. My bad on that one. You want to hit that, and I accidentally hit the L1 button, but I can easily change that. And my analog stick can be left like that, Joy Left, which will be the left analog stick on a PS3 controller, which will also correspond to the left directional button on the, well, not the left directional button, the left joystick button on the N64 controller. And if you just set this all up, you should be able to uh, open up a game like, I don't know, Super Smash Brothers, and go ahead and play with your N64 controller. This is how I did it with um, my Star Fox Let's Play last year. And uh, if you guys need any more help, please message me on YouTube or contact me through email. And this is Payne975, and I'll catch you guys later.